Creating a Cooperative Future. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 197. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 197, January 1st, 2017 edition. As always, I'm recovering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more links, specifics of all the open source content, everything that we're creating, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 25% of the written content for the cognition lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of cognition, is now 100% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the final 75% section of the written part of the Cosmos lesson plan. We also completed the third 25% of the mind map for the consciousness lesson plan, bringing it to 75% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team finished reformatting and adding sections to the vegan sweet potato recipes and omnivore sweet potato recipes pages, bringing both of the pages to 60% completion. You can see a sample of that work here on the vegan sweet potato recipe page. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team finished the final 15% of the Earth Bag Municipal County Involvement and Permitting page. The page is now complete and you can see some of the final details we completed this week here. The core team also updated the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6 floor plans, added them to the site, and worked some more on updating the related details for the Seven Villages online book. In addition to this, the core team worked on these renders for the Earthbag Village Pod 1 bathroom and shower structures. We added textures to the water in the pool, updated the roof details for the Net Zero communal bathroom, communal eco shower structures, and vermiculture toilet structures updated the texture and color of the walkways, and adjusted the shadows. Adrienne gould Choquette, mechanical engineer, also finished her second week with the team, helping work on the standardized AutoCAD layers and line weights template we are creating. Here are screenshots of our collaborative call discussing this work. Fernando Rimolina, industrial engineer specializing in project management, continued with his 11th week of managing the vermiculture bathroom development with the sixth week of help from Lin Zhu, mechanical engineering student, and Jianyu Lucas Liang, mechanical engineer. This week's focus, as shown here, was exploration and design evolutions for the connection of the toilets to the main unit and emptying the removal chamber. Liani Zhao, mechanical engineer, 
completed his second week of working on the Net Zero communal bathroom modeling. This week, he created a section view in AutoCAD and continued designing the shower structure in Net Zero bathrooms in SolidWorks, adding details for the surrounding area in the Earth Bank Village, as shown here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 49 of his work that is now focusing on internal home views. What you are seeing is a series of 59 renders, the final 11 are new, showing the testing and development of the lighting in one of these units. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 24th week helping with the compressed earth block village pod 4 design details. This week's focus was updating the window plan for the main meeting and events hall, adding another meeting room, adding missing column support for the second floor, and continuing to develop different lighting, texture, and furniture details. Aparna Tandon, architect, additionally continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you are seeing here is her 14th week of work, focusing on the area south of the meditation labyrinth, more amphitheater details, walkways, and creating a new and separate tree file so the landscaping file is easier to work with. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also created this first generation update of the main shipping container village pod 5 render with a new background to match all the other shipping container renders Guy helped finalize. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued render creation for the Duplical City Center. This included finalizing the 3D design and placement work for these three natural pool area renders. Next step, we'll be adding details using Photoshop. The core team also created a new render for the Duplical City Center Dining Dome. What you see here is the old render, and this new render was created to reflect color changes to the inside of the dome and also included a slight shift in perspective and updates to the people within the structure. Aruba Rabi, PhD, PE, and civil engineer joined the team and completed her first week of helping double check all the structural engineering details for the city center. Here you see her notes for the beginning of the dome, snow, and wind loads. And Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, continued with her 24th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was finishing the calculations for how many bulbs will be needed in each zone, now that we've chosen them, as shown by the new lamps column in the spreadsheet here. Jin Chi Feng, environmental consultant, also continued her research helping us create an in-depth laundry and dryer machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her 16th week of behind the scenes work on this area of the project. This week's focus was continued development of the formatting and structure of the open source tool to compare water and energy savings with different washers and dryers. Ramya Vudi, electrical engineer, and Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, continued their work on the electrical and control automation systems designs for the city center. What you see here are a couple of photos from the weekly collaborative call with Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, and some of their notes from this week's work, researching conductors, categorizing electrical components, and sizing conduit. Lucas Tsui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, also finished updating the control and automation systems layout to reflect the most recent design changes for the building. You can see this work here and on the site in a version you can click to enlarge. Mike Hogan also continued work on the hardware designs for the control and automation systems. You can see him here holding a version he's testing on his farm in Canada. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team began exploring and testing new options and looks for the video introduction we'll use for the project. This collage shows some of the team's work in this area. Ashwin Patil, web developer, also completed this new image code page and template for easier insertion and formatting of images throughout the site. And Jennifer Zhao, web designer, 
continued working on setting up the icons for insertion into the search engine she and Ashwin are building. You can see some examples of these icons in the partial code here. One community sees what we are doing as creating a cooperative future. A cooperative future which is a society built on cooperation and collaboration instead of competition. And the way that we are doing this is through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for what we call highest good living. Highest good living is living for cooperation and collaboration, but it's also just living for the highest good of all life on this planet. Our idea is that if we can make all aspects of highest good living easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate them as attractive enough, then the ideas will spread on its own, on their own. So we're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, people that believe that that's actually possible, and we are open sourcing and free sharing the foundations of a highest good society, of a world that truly works for everybody. And we've identified those foundations as an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability and combines them with the emotional foundations of sustainability to create a cooperative future for everybody. Physical foundations, of course, are food, energy, and housing, which everybody already knows as the foundations of sustainability. But we also see a cooperative future as founded on ideas of high good education, high good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. And we're putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability to create a teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub, which we will call one community as the prototype for a replicable model that can be replicated anywhere in the world. The idea of creating a cooperative future for everybody means that the idea must spread on its own. And so if we believe that if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate the complete model is attractive enough, then the idea will spread throughout the world. And we are designing everything that we're doing to build the foundations, to open source and free share the foundations specifically for that. This is what one community is doing. This is how we're bringing together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, that believe this is possible, that believe that we're the ones that we've been waiting for, and we can create the world that we want now. And we are clearing away the boundaries and the roadblocks for others being able to do this too. We're doing the work right now and open sourcing and free sharing it to be the foundation for launching an infinite number of additional projects modeled after at least the beginnings of what we've created that will then create additional beginnings for additional projects for additional projects ultimately with the idea to create something for everyone including a world that works for everybody even for those that don't want to participate in the models that we're creating or sustainability people that like things the way that they are we believe that we can achieve that tipping point of participation of global consciousness but of participation, enough people participating, where it doesn't matter if the rest of the population of the planet participates. It will still positively and permanently impact the lives of everyone else in a way that doesn't impinge upon their values, make them do anything that they don't want to, in a way that is a win-win for everyone. And this is the foundations of our concept of what we call consciousness for the highest good of all, of creating and living for the highest good of all. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds interesting to you, if you'd like to be a part of creating a cooperative future as well, we invite you to join us. Get involved in what it is that we're doing. We are a 100% volunteer organization creating open source blueprints for all aspects of sustainable living. And if any of these individual aspects is interesting to you, if it's something you'd like to be a part of, contact us. Share with us what your skill sets are. Join our all-volunteer team and get involved. If that doesn't sound interesting and you'd still like to help, if you like the easiest way to support what it is that we're doing, share information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks because we are trying to virally spread these ideas, these concepts that we are giving away, everything that we're designing and free sharing and open sourcing. We want to get it in the hands of as many people as possible so people can take these ideas that are created with the consciousness for the highest good of all and evolve them in different ways because we believe that if they were created on that foundation of for the highest good, Pretty much anything that you do with those will also be for the betterment of humanity. Arguably, all, all of them will be better than what most of what we're doing right now. Because the way we're living right now is not sustainable. So help us share the information. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. Of course, if you want to help us more than anything else, number one thing that we're looking for right now is still large-scale funding. We're an all-volunteer unpaid organization, but we're seeking large-scale funding to get the property off the market, the property that we've been working around and focusing on and designing around for the last six years, 
so that we can secure that property, so we can disclose that location and build our team that much faster by legitimizing our project to that next level and start open sourcing and free sharing all the specifics that would be necessary uh, or would be possible once we can do a site survey and take the project to the next level. In the meantime, our primary focus, even though that's the number one thing that would help us, primary focus is still working on all the open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions because those are the foundations that are necessary for us to be shovel ready so that we can start building uh, as soon as those are complete. This is what we're up to. This is how we're creating global transformation. This is how we are creating a cooperative future for everybody, and how we know that it is possible. We get more done when we work together. We know this. As an all-volunteer organization, we have accomplished a ridiculous amount for the right reasons. Nobody's paid for what it is we're doing. We want to live this way. We want to create a world this way. And we thank you even if your only way of supporting us is following. We thank you even more if you're somebody who has liked our, our information or shared it on social media. Thank you for the small donations, the $5, the $10, the $15, the $20, $25, the $50 donations, the occasional $50 donation or more are really, really helpful in covering the foundational expenses, none of which are salaries, but the foundational expenses of just running a website like ours, running a nonprofit global organization like ours, it's surprising the expenses that uh, still exist even when you have an all volunteer staff. So thank you for the small donations. Thank you for watching to the end. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything that we're talking about is in this video and the previous uh, over almost 200 videos at this point, uh, visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, but YouTube has changed the way that they send out updates. So you have to specifically say that you want weekly updates from us if you're following us that way. Same thing on Facebook and all the different social media networks. And uh, we will, of course, until next week, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.